What's going on everyone? My name is Tenebris and welcome back to Generation Zero. Today we will be talking about one of the best additions we've seen to the game here. Harvester's ability to call in hunters and how we can use that to our advantage to farm massive amounts of experience and ammunition. I'm going to detail how you should approach farming these hunter reinforcements, some tips for how to do so efficiently, and at the end I'll show you how you can do this as an early game player right off the bat at level 1 with only early game weapons. So some quick points to make for this before we get into the farming method proper. Uh, all you get is drops uh, from these hunters is ammo. No med kits, no crafting materials, none of that sort of stuff. So before you start doing this, make sure that you farmed yourself tons of med kits, either from standard machines, bunkers, or just general locations. Uh, and you can easily farm hundreds of med kits with just a little bit of patience in the archipelago region alone. Uh, so make sure you're well stocked on med kits specifically before you start. Now, I do think this farming could be even more useful to the players if we could get standard drops from these hunters. It would be awesome for farming materials and med kits, but even if that doesn't happen at its current state, this is one of the most useful things we've seen, technically speaking, speaking when it comes to experience grinding. Either if you're a newer player hoping to get a specific skill or level before moving onwards, or if you're a vet looking to do a playthrough with a new character and miss that sweet, sweet mission experience, this is the fastest method to gain thousands of experience points in this game. So first off, let's look at the prototype harvester. With all the variants of machines, the first thing you'll want to do is disable the rocket pods. That way, the harvester won't be causing you any problems while you're doing your farming. This is done relatively easily with any high-powered weapon, so the 50 cal PVG or the EXP variant will help greatly. If you don't have access to a ton of 50 cal ammo, you'll likely want to use an EMP to stun the harvester so you can go in and take out its rocket pods with any gun using the 762 in full auto for speed and efficiency. While you're farming, also make sure you are taking care of any seekers in your general area and any excess machines in your general location to ensure that your farming is simple and you won't have any mechs causing any sort of real problems while you're trying to farm here. Now, when the harvester summons its reinforcements, they'll always drop on the same location and side every single time. So once you've got the position of the hunter's spawn locked down, keep your eyes on that spot after you've finished off the previous hunter. And with higher machine tiers, the locations, as it will summon one extra hunter per tier. This farming in the early stages of getting used to it is best done at night, as you can see the glow from the hunter's eyes before it spawns, allowing you to easily pinpoint where the hunter will be spawning. This might change or be fixed in the future, as it seems to be a bit of a bug, uh, in my opinion, but for now, it's a great way to get used to this method of farming. Once you've got its spawn location locked down, it's a simple wash and repeat method of taking down the hunters, and is great practice for taking down hunters quickly at a distance. So let's farm these guys up here and then talk about the best spot in the map to do this farming for the prototype.
when you start to get towards the end of your farming session, either from getting bored of killing hunters over and over, or because you just want to move on and do something else, start taking some pot shots off at the harvester so that that way you can do some nominal damage uh, while you're still farming, and then after that, killing the harvester will be super easy. Now, my personal favorite area to do this farming is off in Nora Sultulman, uh, just kind of near the farmlands area, right near the Nora Sultulman church. Uh, I find that this location is super reliable for having easy machines to kill off before you go off and start farming the harvester, and they spawn rather reliably in this location as well. Now for the next tier up, the military harvesters. These dudes will have two hunters per reinforcements, and one of those hunters will have their own shoulder-mounted sniper rifle. It's pretty imperative that you always try to take down this hunter first, as he will be the hunter to really do a number on you. As with the prototype, you'll want to take down the rocket pods for the harvester first, just to limit the harvester's ability to mess you up. So, this is all kind of situational. If you have the chance to take down the harvester's rocket pods before the hunters, go for it, as it keeps things focused on the hunter killing. But if you see the hunters are a safe distance from the harvester, take one of them down first, but always keep one alive so that that way the harvester won't be calling in new reinforcements while you're trying to take its rocket pods down. As with the ro uh, prototype, use the light from the hunter's vision to pinpoint its location, but this time try to figure out where the sniper hunter will spawn first, as that will be the hunter you want to focus on taking down first. Just like with the prototype, the hunter will always spawn in the same location with the same loadout, and if this ever changes, all you'll need to do is be a little bit more reactive to their spawning, but for now, it's really nice and easy to get used to the routine. Now let's farm these guys up and this time we'll talk about the drops and the general location that I like to farm the military harvester. Now first up, let's start talking about the drops. The sniper hunters are an absolute gold mine for you. These guys will drop the 50 cal rounds super reliably, as well as the 270 uh, FMJ rounds, which are also incredibly comparative to the 50 cal rounds in terms of damage output, at least against exposed components. So both of the drops that you'll be able to get reliably from the sniper hunters are super, super useful.
Now, the area that I like to do this farming of the military harvester is just a little bit north of Nora Sultoman, uh, just in this kind of general area that I'm highlighting here. You'll be able to find a lone military harvester and very few machines in this area outside of that, so it'll be really, really easy to farm uh, the military harvester and the military hunters from that location. Now last up, let's talk about the Fenix Harvester here. So this guy will always spawn with three harvesters. One with a sniper and two without. When you plan on farming this guy, it can be a little tough, but with great challenge comes great reward, as you can farm absurd amounts of experience from the Fenix type. When approaching this guy, always try to kill off at least one or two of the hunters before you start going for the rocket pods, as the detection range of Fenix machines is pretty large, so it only keeps things simple if you take down at least a few hunters first. You can do this with simple hit and run strategies and using your environment to try to draw the hunters away from the harvester. Then, as always, take out the rocket pods on the harvester and start your farming. Now, sometimes the harvester will call in additional sets of hunters. If this happens, just try to stay calm and focused, taking down the snipers first, then your typical hunters. You can use techniques that I've given you guys in the past, like the flechette jumps, to maneuver really, really quickly and use the hunter's attacks to your advantage. The hunters will spawn just like the previous hunters, so figure out where that sniper will drop and take him out first, then focus on the other two hunters. As with all the harvester hunter farming, try to keep your distance from the harvester to avoid it farting out any gas or hitting you with a shockwave or anything like that. Uh, a medium to long distance fight always is the most simple and safest way of doing this farming. Uh, additionally, these hunters will usually be dropping ticks too, so just ignore the ticks to the best of your ability and keep your movement high, and you can usually avoid most of the chip damage. If you start trying to kill the ticks, you'll usually get swarmed by the hunters uh, since you're creating a bit of an opening for them to get at you. So ignore the ticks as best as possible and let them just burn themselves out. Now, after a quick session of this, you can easily gain tens of thousands of experience. So, after a quick session here, uh, I'll talk about the drops from these dudes, and then the general location I like to go to for farming the Fenix Harveys.
Now from the Phoenix Hunters, you'll be able to again farm that 270 FMJ round, uh, which again is a pretty rare find and is very, very comparable to the 50 cal rounds. And then on top of that, you'll also be able to farm a ton of 50 BMG AP rounds, uh, which uh, drop much more commonly from the Phoenix variety than the military ones. Now, I find my personal favorite spot is just outside of uh, Anal Farala out here in the marshlands, uh, just a little bit north of Garpamar. Uh, this area is really reliable for finding a Phoenix harvester spawn uh, and can be rather quiet, all dependent. Ending, uh, but you might want to go through the area just really quickly firsthand to make sure that you've killed all the machines. Now lastly, let's show how beneficial this is for an early game player. Uh, as an early game player, I advise that the only harvester you go after is the prototype harvester. Uh, so just showing here that all I've got is a dilapidated Automat Yavar and a worn quality uh, PVG. And I am just level one, no skills, no nothing. I've just done maybe about an hour or two of farming here. Uh, and I have all stuff that you can get incredibly easy in the early game here. You can get your 50 cal rounds from tanks, and then you can get your 556 from uh, dead soldiers and stuff like that. So super easy to farm up this ammo, super easy to farm up the simple med kits and everything like that. Uh, and uh, you should go into this with as many bullets as you possibly can. Maybe try to get one or two couple hour farming sessions in before you start doing your hunter harvester farming, uh, just to make sure that you've got the supplies to actually go through with the fight here. Now, as a low-level character, you aren't going to have the mobility that a high-level character has, so you'll want to fight the Harvester from a really extreme distance, uh, just to make sure that that way you can anticipate the rockets before they wind up hitting you, and you can utilize environmental cover to make sure that the rockets aren't just completely destroying you outright. But once you've got the Harvester's rocket pods down, you can start farming the single hunter that spawns from this guy really, really reliably. Uh, and again, just utilize, uh, you know, those 556 rounds or 762, all depending on what your preference is and what you have more of at the time, and using the 50 cal for really quick kills against the hunters. Uh, this will be perfect practice for any of you new players, because this way you can kind of learn how to deal with these hunters. Uh, and also, if you need any help with hunters, uh, I've got plenty of videos, so go through my channel, check out my videos, check out my content, because likely if you have a question I've already got it answered here on my channel so let's go through with this farming session here and then uh, just kind of close up the video So there you guys go. It honestly only took maybe a couple hundred rounds from my 50 cal and maybe about like 1500 to 2000 rounds from the AG5 for the 556. So those are the kind of numbers that you'll want to go into this fight with, which again, super easy to do in the beginning of your game. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video on Harvester Hunter farming. It is super great and honestly one of my favorite additions that the developers have actually brought to the game this year. Let me know what do you guys think of my method here in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.